Hello possums, Drama Smith here. Starting here because I do like the way the outside of the Dior Cun looks. I like the way the inside looks too. I'm actually really happy with that build, but that's not why we're here. We're going up there. I actually came to do some shopping down there, but Piggy's changed the weekly specials. It's not trapdoors anymore. It's nether blocks, which, you know, nether woods, that's, that's great, but I wanted trapdoors. Should have gone shopping sooner. Always keep an eye on the weekly specials. But let's have a look. This is JC's new shop. We've got potions. Oh, I love the door. Cute. Place your order with Sheridan or Lungo. You now have a token. Use your token to collect order from the barrels behind counter. Free cookies with every purchase. Oh, lots of lovely potions. Hello, Lungo. And uh, Bibli Oteca. I love that. Ah, these guys sell books. Let's have a look. What have they got? Three diamonds. That's pretty good. Ooh, Feather Falling Four. Depth Strider Three. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Unbreaking Efficiency Sharpness Five. Looting Three. These are pretty good. Excellent. Oh. We're going to have to come with some diamonds and do some shopping. Is there... Oh, there's a little cafe. Nice. Okay, I've got to work out what I need. Love it. Go check out JC's video on how she made that. Oh, actually videos because getting the books. That was a saga in itself. <laughs> anyway, I'm heading back to base. We have got a lot of building to do. Well, here we are back again, and look, there's an engine in the engine shed. That is the Trojan. It's a little tank engine. It's very cute. There is a tutorial for this. There should be a link in the description and on the screen now, hopefully. But that's not what we're here Oh, I have to clean all... Oh, I'm taking these with me. Excuse me. That's important. And you may as come to and you. Okay. Let's head to the building site. Now we're going to build probably our last factory here, I think. We've got a couple of things to build in here. We've got a Watts rotary beam engine to go here and for Valen's brick maker to go here because this is a brick factory we've got the smelter but we need somewhere to make the bricks that go into the smelter and it will have another purpose but we'll get to that so I'm going to get all my stuff together and we are going to start building
took long enough. Oh, lots of chewing and frying. I'm still not sure I've got it right, but at least it looks like it can work. Now we have to build our brick making machine. Let's start. So that's the middle. So this was painted in patented in 15, 15, in 1852 in the US. So that one, this one. Um, shoot goes there. Conveyor belt goes here. I do know what I'm doing, it just doesn't look like it. But that's not unusual, is it? One, two, oh, I should have put a third one on top. And we need another oak trap door too. All right, so we've got to shoot off the back. There we go, that's not bad. Ugh. I don't want to walk off the edge. Wow, I really have to do something about that. So we're going to give it a base here. I really wanted this to go that way, but oh, that was way too much faffing around up there. That was enough. Believe me, that was enough. Now I've got that there so you can see that it's a conveyor belt, hopefully. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, three stampers. That's what they are. All right, let's remember which side we're working on. This side, that's better. Cog there and uh, one there. And we're going to put another one up there. And I'll put that one there. I know I'm using end rods for rods. I had chains when I was testing this out and it just did not look right. So we've got, we've got end rods. I keep forgetting I can't do that. Right. And there, there we go. All right, the next bit I can't do till I build the factory around this.
that's it. It's not finished. I have run out of time as usual. We might finish this off in another one. I mean, it's just inside detailing and fixing up some of the stuff out the front and putting glass in up there. But I have encased the machinery. That's what I was trying to do. It is a big factory. Much bigger than I thought. This is going to be the drying yard. And yeah, I'm going to have to put some sort of fencing here because that's a bit scary. There's a chicken somewhere. So we can come across from the smelter. We can bring bricks down into the smelter. That's what we need. And if we come in here... All right, so how does all this work? All right, let's talk about it just briefly. Run, 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 run. And yeah, this has to be finished off too. I'm going to turn this lovely little lake into a clay pit. This is where the clay is being dug up. You bring it up here, probably in a hand cart of some sort. Imagine that this is much smoother than it is. You bring it round here and you tip it into this. Oh. You can't tip it anywhere at the moment, can you? There we go. Now we can. You tip it into there. Imagine this is a post that goes all the way down. It's got knives on it. You tip clay in there. You tip ash from fires or coal dust into there. The knives mash it all up and mix it together. It gets squirted down into moulds at the bottom. And then it gets stamped with pressure into the moulds and turned out as bricks along this conveyor belt. So you can just see there's, imagine they're wheels. Then they get taken off and put out here to dry and then down to the smelter to be fired. And because they've got ash or coal dust in them, apparently that makes the drying time a lot shorter. The dust from fires, the coal dust from fires, the ash from fires used to be called dust. And they got put in a dustbin for the dustman to collect. The dustman was smart and he'd sell it to brickmakers. So for any UK viewers, that's where the word dustbin and dustman comes from. In Australia, we call them bin men or garbage men or God help us, garbos. Ugh. So this is what rotary beam engine. So we've got the beam in there which goes up and down and this wheel has got, oh, we can't see it from here, it's got a crank attached to it just there. So the crank is attached to, the rod is attached to the beam which is attached to the crank which is attached to the flywheel which makes the flywheel go around. I've got a feeling that should actually be next to the wheel. I may have to shift this wheel again. I may have to. I'll work it out anyway. Wheel there. Wheel there. Wheel. Band. Wheel. Makes that go round. Makes that go round. Mashes up all the clay. This makes something oh this makes that go round which is also attached to that i cannot make fine enough cables in minecraft okay and that makes the stamper go up and down now you know more about 19th century brick making than you probably wanted to this machine was patented in 1852 this was patented in patented i've got real trouble with that haven't i in the 1700s but was used right up until the 1930s and there's still variations of it being used now but obviously not steam driven and this is steam driven we've got a furnace we've got a boiler we've got all sorts of pressure things and pumps and god knows what here and i will be putting a coal store probably here anyway there is a purpose to this apart from just cosmetic. And the purpose to this, the purpose to this whole big factory is round here. This is going to be storage for gravel and storage for sand 
and we're going to make concrete here. I need somewhere safe that I can make concrete. Standing in the pond over there, I've been nearly blown up a few times. So all of this is for this. Yes, I know. I'm nuts. We knew that. Ah, <sighs> Still lots to do, but this isn't a bad start and yet again a freeform build from me. What is going on with me that suddenly I'm freeform building? Who can say? <laughs> anyway, ah, more materials to get together for the inside. While I'm doing that, there's end cards on the screen linking to other videos of mine. More freeform builds, more other builds. You can have fun watching those. I'm going to go off and grind for mats. Oh, and I haven't finished this little entranceway either. We'll get to that. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, waving an axe, that's not great.